Arsenal is keeping an eye on Julian Alvarez following his public spat with Pep Guardiola. But the Gunners may need to sell more players to fund a move for 80 million rated Man City star. Since joining City from River Plate in 2022, Alvarez has made 67 Premier League appearances, scoring 20 goals and dishing out 9 assists. But he was benched for the first half of the FA Cup final last season, and he only made a late appearance in the two legs of City's Champions League quarterfinal loss to Real Madrid. The 24 year old, declared recently that he would make up his mind about his future after competing for Argentina in the French Olympics this summer. Alvarez stated, I was among the players at City with the most minutes last season. But in the end, you do not like being left out of important matches. You want to contribute. City manager Pep Guardiola was asked about Alvarez's comments and responded during the club's tour of the United States. I do not think about replacing. I knew he said he would think about it. Once he has finished thinking, his agent will contact Chiki Berstein and we will see what happens. I know he wants to play important moments. Yeah, however the others also do. 18, 19 players as well want to play the big games. I read that he wants to think about it. Okay, think about it and after that he will inform us what he wants to do. According to the Mirror, Arsenal are monitoring Alvarez's situation following Guardiola's seemingly blunt message to the striker. It is claimed that the player would likely command a transfer fee close to £80 million, including add-on. Arsenal may need to sell more players before they are able to make such an expensive signing. Emile Smith-Rowe recently left to join Fulham in a £27 million deal, while fellow homegrown starlets Edin Ketia and Race Nelson also been linked, possible moves away. Alvarez played the full 90 minutes for his country on Friday night as Argentina lost 1-0 to France in their Olympic quarterfinal. Ahead of that match, he was quizzed about Guardiola's response to his initial comments about him considering his future. I heard what Guardiola said, Alvarez told Ticey Sports. I don't have much to say about it. I never said anything bad. I just said that I was going to think about it like I do every season to make an analysis of what happened last season. Projection of what may come. I always say that I am comfortable and happy at City, which is a great club, so I didn't say anything bad. Former Liverpool striker Michael Owen is still backing Manchester City to win the Premier League next season over Arsenal. Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, but I don't think there is a standout for fourth. He told Prime Casino when asked about the top four. I don't fancy Manchester United. Chelsea might be back to square one with a new manager. It might be Tottenham or even Aston Villa again. It's impossible to say if Pep would have won less with Sir Alex Ferguson around. Obviously, it would have given him more competition than he has at the moment. But Manchester City have taken the game to a new level. Probably the big question is how many titles Liverpool would have won over the last few years if Pep Guardiola wasn't city manager. To win only one title with that great team, that just shows you how good Manchester United, I'm sure. But it won't be long until Pep Guardiola leaves, and that might change things in the Premier League once he leaves, because he's so bloody good. It's hard to win anything with him in charge at the moment.